Hi guys. Do you want to have your cake and eat it? That's right. Yeah. Um. Hmm. This is really nice. So today, my topic is of how you are able to eat as much as you want but still lose weight or not gain weight guys can you believe this and you might be asking what's the catch yes there is a catch but it's not as hard as you think okay so so let's start so I'll uh, give you five tips of how you are able to eat as much as you want but not gain fat okay so the first tip would be no calorie counting no calorie counting okay um you must have tried a few different diets guys and you know a few different slimming world things where you know they count either points or calories and i'm here to tell you you don't need to do any of that okay in fact that is very limiting it's very restrictive you know also it's tedious right nobody wants to calorie count okay so so yeah I'm telling you that you don't need to calorie count but bear with me and it'll all become clear in my next uh, next few tips okay so no calorie counting is required really like who wants to calorie count don't you just want to eat food uh, without worrying how many calories it is it's so killing the joy if you have to count every little calorie you know you ingesting oh it's really hot day guys by the way it's an awesome day here in Newcastle so I'm enjoying this um, right so on to my next tip right oh by the way have you ever heard this saying calorie in and calorie out right so so basically it's you don't need to do any of that you don't need to calculate how many you're ingesting and how many you're burning off guys right so I'll I'll show you a simpler way of how to eat without having to resort of calories in and calories out calories out okay so so my next tip and that's the most crucial part actually is it's important what you put in in your mouth right so it's you know you can eat as much as you want as long as you're eating the right things guys okay so when I say the right things I mean a lot of vegetables and especially green leaf is okay so you need to stuff yourself full of the goodness which is vegetables and green leafies right because they have a lot of bulk they have a lot of fiber and that keeps you full it satiates you and you know you eating large volumes right but at the same time you're not having too many calories okay so I've got a little infographic for you guys um, apparently I've chosen the spot that's quite popular with tourists so everybody's looking at what I'm doing here but um so yeah so this infogra infographic guys let me just switch this camera around there you go can you see this so this is a picture of three stomachs as I, as as you can see the one on the left the one that's got the smallest amount in right this is your about four tablespoons less than that because one tablespoon has like 120 calories so that's about four tablespoons worth of oil in the in the very left one the middle one has got your animal food so that's chicken um, in there okay so you see how much um, you know how not much of the stomach and it fills in and then the third picture is where you've got your vegetables okay so this is your plant foods your healthy vegetables colorful as you can see so that just tells you how much different in volume you can eat if you choose the right foods okay so you can really stuff yourself full of vegetables and only consume 400 calories whereas if you did that the same thing with the oily foods or chicken here for example then you would be um, 
consuming so many more calories okay so so anyway so even you know even if you are not calorie counting it counts what you eat what you put into your body okay so put healthy plant foods and that way naturally without having to calculate anything you'll be ingesting less less calories however you'll be getting all the nutrition which is in colorful fresh plant foods okay so the third point okay leading from the um eating a lot of vegetables is actually start your meals with a big salad okay so no matter what you're going to have even if you haven't given up your animal products if you reduce them but also introduced a um, massive salad bowl hi erica um introduce massive bowl um, of salad okay into your meals to start with so if you start with uh, a massive salad bowl you will be you know less inclined to consume more um, of other kind of foods as in your animal products or whether it's starches and things like that if you st if you start with a big fresh salad okay then you'll be consuming much less of other and not so healthy or more colorific choices um, soup is a good one too so if you're not a fan of salads with every meal you can switch it up and start with a soup so if you start with a bowl of soup you will naturally cons cons um, eat less of naturally consume less of other foods okay so so that's a, um two tips for you guys all right so start either with a big bowl of salad or with a bowl of soup right the third one and it's very important i still make mistakes with this i told you this in the past eat slower okay so it's very important so i <laughs> love the chart thanks erica yeah so 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 yeah so eat slower just slow everything down eat slower and chew more you know this way you're going to have more pleasure with eating from eating foods um so you know your pleasure of of tasty foods will last longer which is a great point but also you're gonna you know masticate your food much better the saliva will start uh, breaking it up in your mouth you know it'll be, be better digested and better assimilated by your body and also the the time delay because it's like about 15 minutes time delay before your stomach sends a signal to your brain that you are full because there are sensors and you know all over the stomach where it reaches a certain point it sends the signals to the brain to stop eating because you're full so if you eat very fast okay you're not gonna get that signal in time from your stomach to your brain to say that you need to stop eating because you're already full so that's another reason guys for you to slow it down chew really well I think what helps me when I'm trying and when I'm remembering to eat slower, um, you know, I'm having one bite and then I'm putting my fork or a spoon down in between. Okay, so so that helps me out. Um, oh, sorry. In fact, I'm probably okay talking without the headphones. I hope you can still hear me. Can you still hear me, Erica? If you could just let me know because my uh, phone is literally falling to pieces, right? So I hope you can still hear me, guys. So anyway, so, so this was the third point. You have to eat slower and chew better, okay? Um, and the fourth point, w so that was, sorry, the fourth point. Um, and then the fifth point is to choose your timings of eating. So choose the correct timings. So the most important bit, uh, Thanks, Erica. Yeah, so the most important bit is to leave a good gap between your meals. So leave about two hours, I would say, between your meals. So don't snack every five minutes. So eat as much as you want on your main meal, but when you're full, stop and then stop for a good two hours and leave yourself a gap. So until you become hungry again, okay, don't keep on snacking all the time. So, so that's another point and also the timings of 
it's important I would suggest eating lighter meals in the morning so you don't burden your system when it's still in the elimination phase okay your circadian rhythms so it's better to eat lighter breakfast like some kind of smoothie or fruits in the in the morning up to till about 12 o'clock where you can have your normal meal then okay your lunch and then it's important to finish your dinner your dinner time at eight o'clock okay so if you stop eating at eight o'clock you give your body enough time to digest the food before you go to bed or at least if you can't stick to eight o'clock and you go to bed say around 11 I would say then you know give it at least two hours before you go to bed but um ideally I would say it's it's um, two hours sorry um, at eight o'clock at night stop eating um, hi Gemma um, so yeah so so that's where my five tips so to recap guys if you want to grab maybe a piece of paper and write these down so you can kind of internalize it and you know grab these concepts um, and you know kind of make them stick better so the first one I was saying stop the calorie counting yeah there's no need to calorie count if you you know eating the right foods which we're gonna go on in the second like I've mentioned um, then there's no need for calorie counting okay eat until you feel full so the second point lean le um, leading from that is that you need to eat the right things and when I mean the right things eat enough of vegetables and leafies especially okay so they make you full they clean your system out um, they've got a lot of nutrients in them so that's my second point guys if you want to eat how much you want but still lose weight or do not gain weight okay so that's the second point the third point is start every meal with a big salad or a big soup bowl okay this way you'll have less space in your stomach to consume maybe not so healthy ingredients so either your know, animal products if you still eating them or more starches like your potatoes and you know beans and more starchy um, foods or some breads and things like that if you eat them and um, I would say if you start with a healthy nice colorful green salad or um, delicious healthy soup then you will have less space in your stomach to put all you know not so healthy ingredients in okay so that's the third point fourth point slow it down like I shouldn't be slowing down for some reason I feel like I'm really rushing here however I think I'm conscious that my battery is about to die so I don't want to for it to die before I finish so the fourth point is slow down when you're eating and chew well make sure you masticate each bite really well and um, slow down your eating maybe put the fork down in between eating um, because that will help your digestion you're not going to ingest so much air with it when you're rushing you really give yourself gas as well and you will hear the signal from your stomach to your brain to say that you're full because it takes about 15 minutes guys to get that signal from the stomach to the brain that you are full okay so eat slower and chew really well and the fifth is the timings so I've already discussed that you know you need to leave some space in between eating main meals so eat as much as you want you know when you eat the meal however you know obviously it's best not to overeat if you eat slow enough you'll feel when you're starting to get full and you know that's a good point to stop but um once you've eaten your main meal leave about two hours at least in between meals so you can your stomach can di digest foods and um and you get the signal from your um, stomach to the brain in, you know in that time as well okay so timings and eat a light breakfast and finish eating at about eight o'clock so these were my five tips guys how mu you know how you can eat as much as you want um, and still lose weight or not gain weight you know kind of retain your ideal weight guys so I hope you find found this useful um, and I'm glad that my phone didn't die on you and I'll see you all in my next video. Hi mum. See ya.